Hello everybody, Dennis Prager here, and I will tell you right now, this is a bittersweet fireside chat. It's the last one with Megan. I'm not kidding, it is bittersweet. She, she doesn't know. She's really part of my life. And what she's doing is going to the other coast of the United States of America. And it's very hard to produce the fireside chat from 3,000 miles away. And she's going for wonderful reasons. That's, the whole thing is actually beautiful. Let me just remind you at this time that the Fireside Chat is made possible through donations made via Prager United at PragerUnited.com. Thank you for doing so. By the way, there are a lot of benefits to those of you who do sign up, as well as the biggest benefit, enabling millions of people to watch what we're doing, PragerUnited.com. How many fireside chats have you produced? Well, the word produce is a little... I call you my producer. Fun. Yeah. Because you are... Way you're, before you're... I was officially, yeah. but I started around episode 50. Five zero. Yes. So all, all, almost 300, about 280. Mm-hmm. You know, that's an amazing thing to work with somebody 280 weeks in, in a row. In a row because we never missed. Except the one time I had COVID and then I was going to do it, but it wouldn't be right <laughs> to have you guys come in. So by the way, so here's the thing. I didn't even say Megan's last name. And I, I purposely want you to know why. Because I still know her as Megan McDonald. <laughs> That's how you are in my, in my mm. book. What is your real name mm. so to speak megan tyoni tyoni because mm-hmm. your husband's a filipino extraction mm-hmm. correct yeah <laughs> so megan tyoni so by the way this is such a general question but i, I i'm i still find it fascinating when you think of yourself what's your last name Ooh. um the adjustment from McDonald's and Hione took a while. Um, I would think so. I, I'm starting to. I I don't. I'm starting to think of it as Tyone, but it definitely was a huge. It it feels like it could come back easily if I like started signing my name or something. Uh-huh. No. Uh, well, may it not come back. <laughs> no, no. But it, I definitely yes. consider myself a Tyone. Yeah. <laughs> so how on earth did you end up with me and the fireside chat? I don't even know the answer to oh. that. <laughs> um, okay, so I started when PragerU had less than 30 employees. And so the production team, all the guys in here were much, much smaller. I was on the graphic design team. And the production team would be like, can one of you guys just fill in for this week? And every time they said that, I my hand shot up. Like, I, me, it, that is me. <laughs> I want to be there. Oh, that's interesting. Because uh, I was already a fan before working for PragerU. Of Which is the best. The show, yes. That, that, that's the best, frankly, because then you really appreciate being there and then give it your best. Yeah. So you you would volunteer. Fulfilling. So people don't know this. You This isn't your full-time work at PragerU. Forgetting it that wasn't. you're moving. You, you're, you're in the graphics department. Yeah, so I, explain what that means. Yeah, so, well, I was hired for the graphic design team. So, you know, what everyone sees on social media, the clips, the images, thumbnails, all of the graphics, there's a graphic design team. So I started on the graphic design team, and then I kind of wiggled my way into the fireside chat. They, there was just a greater need for someone. There was no one doing this, really. There were, you know, we had um, a small team. You had a small team that started the fireside chat. Uh, But no one was taking on the show start to finish, watching, you know, producing. Um, It it was just a lot of people that was like part of their job. And so more as time went on, it became more of my job and more of my job. And then. Oh, so. Yeah. But you still do graphic design. Yes. But I over time now, it's only for the fireside chat. So the fireside chat became your full time job at Prager. It did, yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, oh, over the last maybe couple of years, I. Oh, that's fascinating. Yeah. 
So tell people what's involved. So I'm going to take a moment from Megan to remind you that the rest, and you'll want to see the rest of this fireside chat, is at PragerU.com. And what I suggest every week is that you simply start watching or listening from the beginning of a fireside chat and anything we do at PragerU at PragerU.com because we don't know what the social media giants, the big tech folks will do uh, to us on any given day. They could pull the plug. And so we'd like you to start with PragerU.com.